Okay, I wanted to show you the main trick of uh, getting some crisp corners without bubbles. Okay, you can see uh, on the part I've already made, I don't know if you can see it there, but uh, you see the light, the real light parts, and then you see the uh, dark parts. I'll try to point them out here. Um, these light parts here is actually what you call micro. It's a peanut butter mixture that you put in the corners first and in the fillets. Here is just plain glass. But in the mold, I'll show you right here. Here's the mold ready to go. And what I've done to prepare the mold, I've waxed it eight times with Meguiar's number eight. And then uh, I uh, painted on, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but this is from fiberglass coatings, but it's, uh, it's uh, and there's another, uh, it's PVA uh, mold release, okay, and uh, uh, there's another uh, uh, company name called Partall, P-A-R-T-A-L-L. -L. It's a green substance, uh, alcohol and some sort of plastic, but what it does is when you paint it on, I just paint it on with a brush and then uh, tip it up to let the excess run out, and what, what it uh, does is gives you... Uh, a um, a real thin covering there, membrane. I'll peel up some off the table here and you can see see it's a plastic. See that? It's, it becomes a thin membrane. Uh, you don't want your part sticking uh, to your mold. That's uh, not fun. Okay, here's a trick I was talking about. You see in here, you mix up micro balloons with your resin, okay? This is a little, uh, about peanut butter. Then you put them, put them right here in the sharp corners. Wherever you have sharp corners and, and you don't want bubbles, of course you don't want bubbles anywhere. But you can see, I put it, I just roughly put it in there and spread it in there. Uh, hopefully that you don't have any bubbles. Now I'll do this to to uh, any any area where the glass would have a hard time bridging without producing a bubble. See now the glass will go around that when I press it in there and of course uh, I'm, I'm adding resin at the same time. The uh, the glass uh, and and the micro balloons will compress in there with no bubbles. And that's what you're after. Another trick is uh, cut your glass. I've cut a piece out here. Cut your glass on a 45. It's easier to go around corners on the bias than it is at 90 degrees. If I would have cut the, gr cut the glass um, straight up, then the uh, plies both ways would be 90 degrees to, to the uh, to the uh, point that that you're trying to lay over. When you do it at a 45, your your glass lays on the bias, and there's not as much of, of a kink in it. So anyway, that's just another trick that I showed. But I couldn't go away without uh, showing you how. You can see there, there's no bubbles in there. And that's because of the micro that I put in the tight corners. And then the glass bridges um, bridges the uh, radiuses and you don't get any bubbles. If you just tried to lay that up with glass, all of those little crevices and everything all along there would have bubbles in it. There's no way that that glass is going to form down into those crevices. Just no way. So anyway, I thought I'd... Uh, share that with you. I haven't uh, finished uh, micro, you call that micro, micro balloons and resin. And all of the corners in here I will fill up with this. You see it doesn't run. It's, uh, uh, you, you mix it thick, thick enough to when you put it on it stays a thick putty. Okay, there you go.